So this software was developed for Eblex to teach people carcass classification. Um, it covers cull cow and prime cattle uh, selection. We'll look at uh, prime cattle to start with. Um, cull cows is similar, so it, it, really we don't have to see that, but this just gives you the idea. If you look at the uh, standard Europe grid, uh, it explains all about that and it explains about understanding cattle and carcasses and there's an explanation of the R4L beast and looking at where the fat hotspots are and where the confirmation hotspots are and these are the places that the assessor would look at and then looking at the assessment points we created models to illustrate all these these points where the assessor would look so you've got there's the 4L and looking at that, there's a 5H and there's a, a 1. So you're looking at that on fat and then if we look at the confirmation of this beast, there's an R, there's a P. So you get an idea of what you're looking at when you're assessing the beast. Um, looking at the loin, um, it's the same, exactly the same. So there's the confirmation. And then we'll just look at the fat on the rib. You get the idea. Some of these uh, animations were created to be extreme, so they're very easy for people to see. But obviously, in real life, they can be a lot more subtle. But it gives you the idea of how that works. Then we created a, a virtual beast. So this is the R4L model. So there's a virtual model so that people can see what the R4L would normally comprise of and there are various other models which one can look at. There's an R5L so you can get an idea of the relative differences between them. This one's just loading because that's coming uh, down from the internet so that'll just give you an idea of that in one second and there it is. So there you go a minus 0.5L and there are all the other models there as you can see. What we've got here are some from fat comparisons created in the virtual model so that one can see the difference between them. And then we've got carcass comparisons so that you can see the difference in the actual carcass as opposed to the, the beast. And here are the differences in the eye muscles for those particular models so that people can see the difference in the amount of fat and the confirmation and how that relates to the finished product. It also looks through the weight issues with the animal and then we've got the carcass cuts. You can take a, view, a look at all the cuts of that animal to see where they come from and what they're used for in a 360 degree model. So there you have it. That is a, it's a nice way of teaching uh, carcass classification with all the resources that one might need.